Hi everybody, Rota here from Dash Brazil. I am in Buenos Aires, Argentina. We just had a Dash meetup over here organized by the core team. And I'm gonna talk to Roberto Conte. He is uh, uh, the business development manager for Taurus.io. Roberto, tell us a little bit about the exchange and where are you guys located? So we're located in Mexico City. Um, uh, we're specialized in Mexican uh, paired, uh, Mexican peso paired uh, markets. Uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Lumens, uh, and all with Peso. I know, I know Dash is your favorite, all right? But tell us a little bit, how is the government in Mexico allowing crypto and uh, how hard it is for uh, exchange to have an uh, integration with a normal bank account where people can actually deposit funds in fiat? So as of... There was a recent government change, but um, the previous government up, to, up until uh, a year ago was pretty uh, progressive about it. Um, even though they were very progressive about it, uh, crypto has been considered as a vulnerable a activity. So because of anti-money anti -money laundering Laundry, laws, yeah. um, they've classified it as a vulnerable activity. So now you need inf like basic information to be able to uh, trade with Mexican peso. So we need um, like uh, we need to do basic the most basic KYC to be able to. Uh, for people to to deposit in banks, to people um, do bank transfers to our exchange uh, where they can buy Bitcoin. And how is the customer service from the exchange when someone has a problem? Because, you know, exchange normally is used by traders. Yeah. And if you want to focus on a normal user, someone that has no experience with crypto, what's the first thing you guys normally do to attend this type of uh, uh, personalities? So the first thing we do is um, the people who uh, who do customer service they register the questions and we're basically designing customer service not for traders but for initial users and we're just building manuals and we're building a, a better way a simpler narrative for first time users um we've been that's basically what we've been we've been doing just designing how to explain crypto from the beginning one time and time and over again and how important it is to have an exchange with dash and uh, a, a pesos mexican pesos spare because, for example, um, especially for all the Mexicans living abroad, they can use Dash to send back to their families and actually exchange to fiat. Yeah, well, that's super important. Um, there's it, the the velocity of Dash and the fact that it it's it's being adopted in these economies that need uh, free use of uh, free free transmission of, of money. Um, it's important for in Mexico to have a Dash market because it's being used in other places where people need that 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 money be to be sent to them. So um, it's super cheap, super fast, and that's why that's why we like it. All right, tell us uh, official website, Twitter account, Instagram, whatever you guys want to promote in the Dash community. Yeah, well, uh, follow it. Well, our our, our um, uh, URL is Tauros, T-A-U-R-O-S dot I-O. And you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook as Tauros. Um, uh, how, what do you, how do you say? Uh, underline. Underline, yeah, uh, I-O. Perfect. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. Roberto, once again, thank you very much. I'm going to connect with some other Mexicans involved with the Dash community as well. Once again, everybody, Rod here in uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'll see you soon.